Hello, so welcome again to another beautiful episode of Reaction on the channel. If you see me for the first time, you're welcome to the channel where you get lots of entertainment and also educative videos. So if you don't want to miss out on any episode of our Reaction on the channel, all you need to do is to hit on the subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, like our videos, and also you can share our videos. So without wasting much of your time, from the title, this is what the video is all about. So don't go anywhere, don't skip watch the very end and also drop a comment letting me know what you think about this particular one i'll be glad and anticipating to see your comments so without wasting much extra time let's dive into the video this is travel tuesdays every tuesday we present you with another incredible country today we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about poland Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello ALUXers, it's time to take a virtual tour of Poland. Today we're taking you on a trip to one of Eastern Europe's most beautiful countries. As many of you already know by now, Poland has been a major player in modern history with their implication in the world wars. Due to their location and their Jewish community, they are by far one of the countries that suffered the most in the early 1900s. Although nowadays most people visit them because of the concentration camp museums, there's so much more to Poland than just post-war trauma. It's a vivid country with welcoming people that carry the Eastern European mark, medieval architecture, and lots of culture. Out of all of their 38 million citizens, over 80% of them go through university, but at the same time, they are very, very religious. Pope John Paul II was from Poland, and they take great pride in that. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Besides a very tough language, a brutal history, and a lot of smart people, Poland is a hidden gem of Europe, and we're going to let you in on its secrets, beauty, and luxury. Let's get started. Number 1. Many famous actors and directors are of Polish descent. Have you ever thought about the backgrounds of the most famous celebrities? Not all of them are Americans or British. Many celebrities have a variety of roots, and if you haven't noticed that by their last names, the most notorious actors and directors are half Polish or of Polish ancestry. Emmy Award winner John Krasinski, Kristen Bell, Scarlett Johansson, Roman Polanski, or Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak are all Polish somewhere down the line. This shows how much talent and beauty Poland has to offer to the world. Number 2. Fashion and beauty is really big in Poland. In Europe, Italy and France are the most notorious players in the beauty and fashion industries. The biggest and most luxurious brands are located there, and most people forget about the others. Take notice, because some big brands we all know and love are actually from Poland. Starting with beauty, Inglot Cosmetics, that recently launched a collection with JLo, was founded in Poland. Max Factor was founded by a Polish woman, and Helen Rubinstein founded a brand that was acquired by L'Oreal later on. Fashion-wise, Reserved and Mojito are two Polish brands. Number 3. They still kiss hands when meeting ladies. Basic manners have changed so much over the years. People nowadays shake hands or kiss on the cheek the most. There used to be a time when a man would kiss a lady's hand when meeting her as a sign of respect and courtship. If you're not a member of the royal family, then you may not be so familiar with all these habits, but in Poland, they're still pretty common. Here, men will still kiss a girl or a woman's hand when meeting her, and even though it might seem bourgeois, it's cool. It's simply good manners, so get used to it. Number 4. There aren't too many immigrants. We all learn about the world wars in history class. There's a lot of movies, books, documentaries, and so on about the horrors that happened. Since Poland suffered the most from genocide, some of the after effects still haunt its citizens. Nowadays, Poland is a very homogenous society, where people look at you very curiously if you're black or Asian, and for that reason, there isn't too many African or Asian migrants there, not even in the bigger cities. Unfortunately, it'll likely take a few more generations for them to fully recover and be more inclusive. Number 5. The richest man in Poland has a net worth of $3.7 billion. 
If you didn't know this already, Poland is pretty much among the fewer countries that dodged the financial crisis of 2008. Even though the crisis was not that bad in Poland, they're still not the country with the most billionaires. The richest person in Poland is Sebastian Kulczyk, the son of Jan Kulczyk, the richest man in Poland. He inherited his late father's investment fund and now runs it with his sister Dominika. He's now the president of the company and together with his sister, took over the $3.7 billion fortune. Number 6. A rare luxury sports car was lost in France and found in Poland through social media. These days, social media can help with voting campaigns, help find lost people, raise money, and so on. For an Arab millionaire, it helped him to find his luxury sports car that was stolen by a fake company in France. It was actually more like a scam, and we're talking about a Lamborghini Aventador, which was one of roughly five models in a limited edition, costing around $500,000 each. The car was supposed to be safely shipped from Cannes back to London, but it never reached its destination. It was then when he posted on social media about it, and his 70,000 followers helped him track it down. The main suspect was a Polish officer who may have planned to take the car to Russia when Interpol caught up with him. Number 7. Poland Wants More Money From Germany Over World War II Reparations Whenever something fishy happens in Poland that involves the whole EU, the conversation seems to always shift towards the world war losses. If Germany dares demand explanations from Poland officials regarding their behavior or changes, it backfires. Recently, some Polish officials demanded that Germany should pay post-war reparations because the 1.3 billion euros it was paid are not enough to cover 1% of the losses and damage they created. Unfortunately for them, Germany was highly punished for what they did during that time, and they may not get any more money out of it. Number 8. North Korea Sent Thousands of Children to Poland in the 1950s if you think that the World War was traumatizing for Poland, then you need to look a little more into their history. Being a former communist country, Poland had to take some favors from other fellow communist countries like Russia or North Korea. Back in the 1950s, when the Korean War started, Kim Sung II decided to send thousands of children to Poland, Hungary, and Russia to escape the war. Years after, they were deported back to North Korea, but as a new movie about the subject shows, they wanted to stay in their new homes. This movie is called The Children Gone to Poland. Number 9. A bunch of Polish students invented the modern drug test. The first university in the world was established in Prague. A few years later, the second university was founded, this time in Poland. Nowadays, the tradition of culture and science still goes on in Poland, and we can see that just by looking at their achievements, without mentioning all the Nobel Prize winners and famous scientists. A group of students from Poland launched an app that helps people get tested for certain drugs. It uses the phone's camera to scan the eye for anomalies and other symptoms. So the next big thing in drug screening may just come from Poland. Number 10. The world's largest medieval castle is in Poland. Europe is full of old and beautiful castles. Poland was also a country that boomed during the Renaissance period, and even though it was severely bombed, the world's largest castle still stands strong. The Malbork Castle, the world's largest medieval castle dating from the 13th century, is now turned into a beautiful museum. If you want to feel like a king, you don't have to move to France. There are many castles for sale all over Poland, with prices sitting modestly at $6 million. Number 11. They have milk bars that are actually restaurants. All over the world, restaurants are restaurants, taxis are called taxis, and hotels are called hotels. This international convention is very useful, until someone decides to change that. In Poland, milk bars are not what they seem. A milk bar is usually a cafeteria-like restaurant where you can eat food and have a drink at a relatively low price. Polish people prefer milk bars over fast food restaurants because the food is healthier and has a better price for its value. Number 12. There are sand dunes in the north. 
Poland is lucky enough to have a sea opening. Although its landscape is not the usual palm trees and pristine beaches, it's still a great place to enjoy the sunshine. They have the Baltic Sea, which is not the warmest water, but it's better than nothing. A pretty usual thing for that region is the fact they have sand dunes along the coastline. Because they're located in such a northern location, the dunes are blown away by the hard winds, and they actually move inland 10 meters each year. These sand dunes are unique in Europe and can be visited by anyone. Number 13. Polka dots and polka music are not from Poland. When you think of polka dots or the polka dance, you immediately attribute them to Poland. Well, we're here to tell you that if you ever related the two of those, you're wrong. The polka dance is actually from the Czech region of Bohemia. The polka dots have multiple origins. They might be related to a Polish woman, but their fame and use dates are from the medieval times. No one really knows who invented polka dots and the name of the pattern. It can be Czech, Polish, or American. Nobody really knows. Number 14. You can't name your child whatever you want in Poland. Now that everyone is a fan of Game of Thrones and other famous series, the naming of a new baby has become way more interesting. Modern parents strive to give their babies the craziest and most unique names they can think of. In Poland, such behavior is not tolerated. You can't just go in and name your baby girl Daenerys. At the civil registry office, you'll be advised to choose a name that is appropriate, and you'll be given a list of names which are not recommended. If the name is too weird, they can refuse to register your baby, and you'll have to go to court to settle it. Number 15. They have a $7,250 vodka. Vodka and Poland work very well together. They've been well-known vodka lovers and exquisite producers of this alcoholic beverage for quite a while. Polish people like hardcore alcohol, and they're not afraid to craft specialties and expensive concoctions. A few years ago, Poland launched a limited edition of their Belvedere vodka called Belver Bears, exclusively for the Cannes Film Festival. It was a beautiful bottle design in collaboration with DJ Jean Rock for the festival's parties. They priced it at $7,250 per bottle, including the plexiglass bear that holds it. Well, Aluxers, that's all for Poland. As you move your finger towards the east on the map, you really find amazing places. Poland is in fact a great destination for digital nomads and students. Here you can get the best out of both worlds, Eastern Europe and Western Europe. Do you guys think the stereotypes about Polish people are true? Do they really apply in this case? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, for sticking with us until the end and being a true Alexer, here's your award, a bonus fact. Number 16. The most expensive Polish artwork sold for over $8,424,500. One of Poland's most famous Art Deco artists is Tamara de Lempica. She was born in Poland from a Jewish, half-Russian, half-Polish family. She grew up in Western Europe where she perfected her art and is one of the most loved and talented Polish painters. Her famous painting, called Le Rêve, Raphaela sur von Wert, The Dream, sold at Sotheby's New York auction in 2011 for $8,424,500, making her the most expensive Polish artist ever. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow. Wow, this is a beautiful world, and I enjoy watching this. I'm very sure you also lent it to Otten from this particular video. So don't forget to like. If you enjoy what you do because it has value to you and don't forget to share our videos comment and let me know what you think about this particular one i want to write to this particular one all right belongs to the right to content creator of this cool piece of art i don't intend to infringe any copyrighted materials so thank you and say come and give us another beautiful one do well to stay put stay safe and stay subscribed for me to you is bye for now